Welcome to this tech preview from Big Switch Networks. In this video, we will show you how Big Monitoring Fabric integrates with VMware vSphere to achieve dynamic virtual machine traffic monitoring. First, we will explain what we mean by dynamic traffic monitoring. We will then briefly go over the design goals of BigMon's dynamic VM monitoring, then dive into the technical details of how BigMon implements dynamic VM monitoring. And finally, we will show you a demo using a prototype of the solution. What is dynamic monitoring? Big Monitoring Fabric supports two deployment modes for virtual machine traffic visibility in VMware vSphere environments. The first mode requires a port mirror session to be configured on the vSphere distributed switch with the server uplink on each host used as the destination of the port mirror session. This mode enables both intra and inter-server VM traffic visibility. However, it requires dedicated server ports, permanent cabling, and manual configuration of port mirroring and therefore is recommended for situations where the traffic from a set of VMs must be continuously monitored. In this tech preview, we present an alternative approach that achieves on-demand virtual machine monitoring. In the dynamic monitoring mode, the system admin asks the BigMon controller to deliver traffic of any VM he or she desires to monitor. No pre-configuration of the vSphere distributed switch is necessary, and the system admin interacts with only the BigMon controller to deliver the traffic of chosen VMs. Before we dive into the technical details of this alternative deployment model, we will briefly go over some of our design goals. Our foremost design driver is maintaining and enhancing the operational simplicity of big monitoring fabric. To achieve this goal, we seek to provide a single simplified workflow for selecting virtual machines and destination tools through the BigMon controller. We then fully automate VDS and other network configuration in order to relieve the security or virtualization admin from performing these tasks. Our second goal is to avoid intrusive monitoring VMs or agents on production servers. As we will see later, we can achieve this goal by leveraging built-in vSphere distributed switch port mirroring and filtering capabilities. And last but not least, we would like to enhance operational agility by providing the security admin full freedom in choosing which VMs to monitor and therefore avoiding the need for coordination between virtualization and security admins. How does this dynamic traffic monitoring work? BigMon maintains an inventory of virtual machines by querying the vSphere API. As we mentioned earlier, the network admin initiates the dynamic monitoring workflow by selecting a VM from this inventory and the destination tool to which the traffic must be delivered. For example, our network admin tells the BigMon controller, I want to deliver the blue VM's traffic to Bro. Next, BigMon automatically configures a tunnel endpoint on the fabric and a policy to forward the traffic to a delivery port. In this case, the delivery port where the IDS is attached. Finally, using the vSphere API, BigMon configures an encapsulated remote mirroring source session on VDS with the destination, the IP endpoint on the monitoring fabric, and it adds the blue VM port as a source of the traffic. For the demo, we will be using a big monitoring fabric deployment that we are showing to the right, along with visibility and performance monitoring tools. In particular, we will be using the Bro Intrusion Detection System to verify VM traffic delivery. We also have ESXi hosts that we manage through vSphere and two VMs, a front-end web VM, and a back-end app VM. The web and app VMs communicate via a vSphere distributed switch instance. The goal is to deliver the app VM's traffic to the IDS, and we will be going through the following workflow steps. In the first step, we will have the BigMon controller create a tunnel endpoint on the fabric and a policy to forward traffic from this endpoint to the IDS. Then, using the vSphere API, we create the remote mirroring session on VDS and select the app VM as the source. At this point, we will be ready to perform a test with an HTTP request to the web VM that gets proxied to the app backend. To verify the app VM traffic is delivered, we will take a look at the Bro IDS connection log. Let's get started with the demo, first by asking the BigMon controller to create a tunnel endpoint on the fabric and a policy to forward the traffic from this endpoint to the IDS. A tunnel endpoint has been created and assigned a local IP address and given the filter role. Now we can create a corresponding policy to carry this traffic from this tunnel endpoint interface to the Bro IDS. 
can verify on the Bigmon controller that the interface has been created and given the filter role. We do the same for the policy. Policy is created, VMware 0 installed and is forwarding traffic. Now it's time to create the corresponding state on vSphere. We'll first list the virtual machines through an API call. And as you can see, we have a number of virtual machines. We are interested in the app virtual machine. We'll say we want the app virtual machine and hit enter. And then we're asked if we want to create the remote mirror session for this app virtual machine. We say yes and hit enter. And it says that the tunnel has been created as well. And now we can verify on the vSphere web interface that the corresponding state has been created. As you can see, we have two VMs. There's the app and the web VM. Under networking, we have the vSphere distributed switch with both VMs on a particular port group within that switch. And if we take a look at the port mirroring section, we see that there is a big mon session created. What is left now to do is to verify that the traffic from the app VM is getting delivered to the IDS. In order to do so, we will first make an HTTP request that will get proxied to the app server. And then on Bro, we would like to verify the reception of this traffic. As you can see, the HTTP request has been logged in the connection log of Bro. To summarize, in this video, we showed you a flexible on-demand approach for VMware vSphere traffic monitoring with Big Monitoring Fabric. Bigmon interacts programmatically with vSphere to establish VM2 tool end-to-end -to -end policies. This allows the security or network admin to deliver the traffic of any VM to any monitoring tool in an on-demand fashion without having to manually configure state in vSphere or to submit a ticket to the virtualization team. Dynamic VM monitoring with Bigmon does not require dedicated compute resources for a monitoring VM or installing and maintaining agents on production VMs both of which are operationally and monetarily costly propositions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.